Hi everyone, so today we are going to see the demo for on-road vehicle breakdown assistance. So this project we have implemented in MERN technology. So the backend will be MangoDB and Express and for the server side we will be using uh, Node.js and for the front end we'll, it will be React.js and CSS. Okay, so let's see the project source code. So in the left hand side you can see the two folders backend folder and the front end folder the client is the front end folder so if you expand it you can be able to view it the modules we have implemented over here so this is the modules of the project okay and then the routers of the project so these are all the routers and and this is the apt server.js file so these are all the router declaration and front end part coding so the src will be the source code so inside the src so we have implemented the app.js so this is the route of the project and inside the components folder you can view the all jsx files so here you can able to uh, view our designs and uh, front end codings so this is the coding part so let's start the projects first we will see how to start the project to start the project so go to the backend folder and give npm start So it is started so to check the routers we have we are using um, thunder client inside our project so here you can able to check uh, put the queries and you can able to check the backend whether it is working or not so you can able to see that it is working and you have to open the another terminal so inside the client folder you have to write npm run dev So it is running now so it will be running in the backend local host database so we are using wheat front end library for the front end so it will be running in 5173 so this is our application and backend we are using mango mongodb uh, campus so open the mongodb so in the left hand side you can see the backend uh, database and here the collection so the tables we call it as a uh, collections in mangoes so here you can able to see all the database stored over here okay so let's start the project demo so this is the home page of the app so you can view the navigation bars etc so here we have three roles in the project one is the users is the public who is searching for the services and administrator who provides the approval of the vendor that is mechanics logins okay and uh, the businessmen are the mechanics who register their services okay so let's start with the business login so as a new user you have to go for user registration and fill up the form so i'm going to create a new user so once you sign up so it says the password should be eight digit okay so and it should have special characters uh, and uppercase and the mobile number should be 10 digit okay so i will give the mobile number to 10 digit password to 8 digit and if your email id should be unique so if you are using the previous email id it will say the email already exists okay. so i am providing a new email now it will be registered successfully so it is registered successfully so if you go for the backend database and go to the users you can see the new query will be created over here so that is sorry so the go to the vendor table so you can see the new vendor is created the password password has been hashed okay so here we have encrypted the password so nobody can hack the details okay so let's go with the vendor login the vendor credential is vendor at gmail.com so login successful okay so once you log in as a vendor or any user so you can see the cookies of your storage so it is the vendor at gmail.com so in the local storage automatically it will get you the token value so we have implemented jwt in our project so if you go for your 
backend database and in your routers you can see we have used jw json token over here so for the security reasons so has a vendor has a business login you can able to create a new business details and you can able to update or delete the details and you can view the request from the user side and we can view the feedback from the users okay these are all the main modules uh, for the vendor side so let's create a new business go to the create business so enter your So your mechanic name so what kind of services you are providing so you can mention two wheeler or four wheeler so how much hours are availability and your locality and your address and your mobile number so here we have the mobile number validation so it should be digit it is created successfully so whatever you have created it will be available in the view my business so if you go for the update business you can able to see so just now i have created so initially the status will be in the bending status so you will not get any any inquiry or any visibility from the user side so it should be approved from the admin side so here you can able to search by the name you can search by the city wise you can maintain different branches so if you want to edit it you can click on the edit option you can able to edit the numbers or any field over here so if you want to delete it you can delete it and also uh, to locate your lodge shop location you can able to update your geo location so click on the geo map it will trigger you the uh, browser geo location navigation so allow it so automatically it will update you the location and the latitude and longitude of your current location so you should have internet connection in your pc so it will capture you the current latitude and longitude coordinates to view to check the details and you can click on the show map so you can see bottom you can see the latitude and longitude in the left bottom you can click on the show map it will automatically promote you to the google map so here uh, the shop where we have uh, located so you can see the actual current location and this is the my business you can create the uh, business and uh, request service request it will be coming from the user side we will create from the user side and feedback module we will provide you the feedback from the user side so this is the four modules so i am just log out now so let's go for the user model has a new user you can go to the user registration the same validation will be available for the user also so i'm just going for the user at gmail.com password is test login successfully so once you login as a user so you can able to find the on road services and you can request any mechanics from the services and you can able to manage your my profile so if you go for the my profile so you can see your details you can edit your profiles over here so if you want to reset your password just enter the new password or else if no change in the password just leave it blank okay so you can manage your my profiles over here and you can go to the home and find services so just now you can see only one services is there so a new uh, services should be approved from the admin side so if you approve it here you can see it so here you can search by the uh, area wise you can search by locality wise you can search by any field over here and you can see the uh, mechanic shop location you can simply click on the show map it will promote you the to the google map over here and if you want to request any uh, services click on the request and uh, like start a problem so write your and write your mobile number and submit it so while you are submitting it will ask you the latitude and longitude so automatically it will fetch your uh, coordinates and it will send to the mechanic particular mechanics so it is requested successfully so for example if you are in online so if you are in offline so it, it will the initially the, the latitude and longitude will be uh, zero so once you are online you can click on the geo map and you can update your coordinates over here okay so just now we have uh, 
requested this problem bike startup problem so our number will be shared to that and you can see your location what you have shared and just now for the today date it is uh, registered okay so whatever you have requested it will be available in the my request you can see your request status is venting now so initially the status will be pending it will be up approved accepted or rejected by the mechanic side so let's log out okay so let's uh, move for the admin side so the admin credential is admin at gmail.com so what admin will do is admin will be approving the new businesses he will be verifying by means of uh, by verifying by means of mobile number or shop or anything so initially the status is pending they will click on the update status and approve it okay and he can able to view all the registered users so who are all registered to this app so he can able to view the user registered users over here so so this is the user module and admin module so finally we will go for the business side vendor side so the mechanic will receive a new request from the user so go to the view request so here you can see just now we have uh, raised a new problem startup problem so they will be updating or accepting the status update status or accept or reject so once you have accepted so it will go for the user side and the mechanic can able to track and reach your location by means of show map and you can able to view the geolocation of your user site and you can put the directions and you can able to reach your location over here so this is what the admin uh, business login okay and finally he can provide the feedback from the user so whatever you are providing the feedback so it will be visible over here so